Homeschooling with Camille. I am Camille A. Stalker. I am a homeschool mom of two girls, a first and third grader, and I am here to take you in our day in life and journey of our homeschool. So before we begin, guess what? It's Friday. Happy Friday. So what am I talking about today? I am talking about my March book roundup, what we read all of March. And I'm also going to talk about the last four ladies, ladies um, for, that we wrapped up with for Women's History Month. So I'm going to start with them. And these women are <laughs> Fatima Alfire, and she was an educational philanthropist. Um, Toni Morrison, who was a writer. She wrote Beloved. Um, the Bluest Eye, Sula, one of my favorite authors. Next up is Yao Fujikawa. She was an illustrator um, and for children, so she was very diverse in the illustrations that she did. Um, our last woman that we did celebrate was Zaha Hadid, and she was an architect. And her work is amazing. If you Google her, you'll see the buildings, like very futuristic very very awesome and so today we celebrated just the person of the day um, and his name is Usman Simbin and he was a African filmmaker um, in Senegal so he saw that there were not a lot of movies that represented Senegal and Africa so he said he read a lot of books and he said I'm gonna create this and so amazing filmmaker in um, Africa in the 1960s. Um, this week we did have Poetry Wednesday and the person we talked about was George Moses Horton. And George Moses Horton wrote a poem called On Liberty and Slavery. Now he was an illiterate man who recited poems and he would recite his poems at the University of North Carolina. And this is where the students would write down his work for him. Um, and the slave master allowed him to do this, but the slave master did not allow him to purchase his freedom. Crazy, right? Um, George Moses Horton did eventually learn to read and write, and he does have three volumes of poetry. And so George Moses Horton is his name. So now, I'm gonna talk about the books we've read for March Book Roundup. Um, the first book that we finished, that we did finish, was a chapter book, and it was called Stamp for Kids. Stamp is also um, a book for adults, so um, Sonia Cherry Paul did write one for adults and one for children. And this is also Jason, Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kende. And this uh, book talks about racism, anti-racism, and you. It talks about segregationists, assimilationists. It touches on all of that. It also starts at the very beginning of how slavery began. I think it talks about, hold on, let me make sure. Like the book begins of talking about race. And so it starts in the year 1415 of when slavery was happening. And then it ends in the year of now. 2000, well, when this book was written, it was ended in 2020. But it's still relevant uh, today in 2022. So that is called Stamped for Kids, the Racism, Anti-Racism, and Youth. Um, next up on my list is How Great Is Our God? And this is a 100 indescribable devotions about God and science. We are done with this devotional. We have another one that we're going to dive into. And this book is by Louis Giglio, I believe, and with Tama Bortner and illustrated by Nicola Anderson. And so every day it tells um, you a scripture, then it tells you um, a whole series of how um, science and how God works very very cool and then it gives you a fun fact about the world then it also says a prayer at the bottom of like for example this one says this one is just right and then it gives the um the uh scripture of esther 414 who knows you may have been chosen queen for just a, such a time as this 
And then it goes on to talk about the Milky Way and the galaxy. And so they put that together with that. But that, we finished our, that devotional, we read it every day. And as I said, we have a second one by Louis Diglia that we're gonna get into and I'll share whenever we finish that. Um, next up is a book that you've seen me share several times, Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. And this is where we were really using this book to talk about um, Women's History Month. And so the girls did use this book for a lot of the women they chose every day. Next up, oh, and that book is by Vashti Harrison. A lot of my books are Vashti. Um, this one is a brand new one. We just got this last weekend. So this is Little Dreamers and this is Visionary Women Around the World. And this is, um, included the ladies that I talked about in the beginning. Fatima Alfire, Toni Morrison, and Giao Fujikawa. So they are in this book and that is also by Vashti Harrison. And it was Little Dreamers, Visionary Women Around the World. Next up, No Bunnies Perfect, and this is by Anna Dudney. Um, she is the author of Llama Llama Red Pajama, if you know the Llama Llama. Um, next up is I Want to Be an Officer, I Want to Be a Police Officer, and this is by Laura Driscoll, and illustrated by Catalina Escavere. That was a cute read about how... Um, uh, the community, how the officers were working in the community. Next up is Bats at the Beach, written and illustrated by Brian Lies. Hair Love, this is one of our favorites. I'm pretty sure I have read this book to the girls about 50 times so far. We've read it several times during the year and this was one of Isabel's picks. I think this is one of her favorite books. But this is by Matthew A. Cherry and illustrated by Vashti Harrison. <laughs> um, last, but certainly not least, a book that is not finished, but I like to put it in because we do use it for Poetry Wednesday. And this is where I found the George Moses Horton on liberty and slavery. And this book is called I Too Sing America, Three Centuries of African American Poetry. This is written by Katherine Clinton and illustrated by Stephen Alcorn. And I will tell you, the illustrations in this book are amazing. You have to look at it and see and, and try and pick like what's happening. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And that is all I have for March Book Roundup. That's what I got. Those are the books we read. So if you're interested in it, go get it. Let me know if you like it. Um, so what's to come in April? So if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. April is National Poetry Month. And if you know how I feel about poetry, you know we're going to go in. So I have some things planned for that. Um, baseball season is also starting. So I'm going to have lessons on baseball. And I have a couple of books that I'm going to purchase for the girls who understand baseball and some of the baseball greats. We are also going to have dress up presentations. Um, with this, I'm going to write this up, but the girls are going to pick their favorite poems that we have read so far throughout these last few years. And they are going to dress as the author of the poem and they are going to recite it. So be on the lookout for that. But all month we're going to be reading poems and they're going to be practicing whatever it is they choose. Um, and then something very, very exciting. I was looking at the girls' workbooks and they're almost done with them. They've almost done 180 days of work. Wow. So um, they're going to be wrapping up with that soon. So I think the only thing that we'll be really doing is math, the Saxon math, and reading their one chapters a day. So the end of the year is coming up on us. And that's all I got. I don't have anything else. I just wanted to share all of this with you. So as always, I pray y'all have a blessed day. I pray you have a blessed weekend. I pray you have a blessed week. And I'm going to be back. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye.